In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can work with Pantone colors in Affinity Designer for the desktop. So to get started here, I have this example design opened up on my canvas. If I want to start applying Pantone colors to this design, all I have to do is come over here to the Swatches tab on the right hand side of the screen. If you don't have a Swatches tab over here, just come up to where it says Window and look for the Swatches option there and that'll give you access. And if you want to access your Pantone colors, all you have to do is click on this drop down menu over here. And you can see we have all of these different Pantone profiles that we can work with here. So if there's something specific you're looking for, you can just choose it from this list. Two of the more common ones are CMYK coded and uncoded. So I'll just use one of those for this demonstration. And when I select that, you can see all of the Pantone colors there in that swatch. Now this little menu here may be kind of a pain to work with because of how small this window is. So what I would recommend doing is just clicking and dragging this tab and popping this out and then elongating this menu here so you could see these colors more. And if you want a better view of them, you could click on this menu icon up here and go down to where it says appearance. And the default I believe is medium, but if you make them large, it'll be easier to see. And if you go back over here and choose show as list, that'll make them even easier to see. So you can browse through all of your different Pantone color codes there. Now, if you're looking for a specific color code, you could just come down here to the search bar and type it in. So I'm gonna type in 109. And here's the colors I'm looking for, something like this right here. So I'll select this object and I'll apply that Pantone. And there you go. Now, once you're ready to save your work, you could, you could take your swatches menu and pop it back into the uh, panel there. And in order to save this, it's recommended that you export it as a PDF. So come up here to where it says file and go to export. And we're going to export as a PDF. So choose PDF from this dropdown. Over here, you can choose your DPI. And if you come down here, you have the option to include printer marks, including crop marks, registration marks, and color bars. So if you want to include that information down there, go ahead and select that option. I have it selected by default. I'm going to click on export and save my work. And as you can see here, I have opened up my exported PDF document and we have all of our printer marks and our color bar and registration marks and everything like that. So that is how you can work with Pantone colors and save them in Affinity Designer. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.